Hey guys, Whitney here, and welcome to part three of The Sims Life Stories Let's Play. There we go. That was really hard for me to say. I don't know why, but um, yeah. So right now we want left off with her wanting to invite Mickey to the Starlight Cafe. So we're going to go ahead and call transportation. And we can invite Sim to a community lot that way, which will be... Which is good. All right, so invite Sim to community lot. Mickey. How nice of you to invite me. I'll just gussy up and come right over. Well, don't come over, we're gonna leave. Can she like change? Um, What's her formal look like? Ooh, yes, girl. Yes, that is a good dress. This is always one of my favorite dresses in The Sims 2. I used this before I used custom content. I used to use this dress all the time like I love the back and it just looks so so pretty yeah so I guess we're just waiting for transportation all right there we go so we're going to go to the starlight cafe and market enjoy a romantic outing at our bistro style cafe featuring full course meals for the discriminating sim what <laughs> in a hurry <laughs> then shop at our marketing our market featuring the freshest produce all right no, what are, you, no, what are you doing? God, you're obsessed with the computer. You're like me. Riley is me. And here we are. I guess this is the Starlight Cafe. This is the market side of it. And then this is... No? There's not a cafe here? Oh, right here, I guess. Can you order? I'm confused, guys. I don't even know what to do here. I really don't. I don't. Where's Mickey? Um, checkmate, Mr. Smith. Maybe Mickey would like to play a little chess with me before dinner. Although I was captain of the high school chess team, I'll go easy on him. All right. Oh, hey, boo. Hi. Let's go ahead and practice. Play some chess. She is way too dressed up. I thought this was like a cat. Like, I thought this was a restaurant and it's literally like a grocery store. So, yeah. <laughs> she looks like she's going to prom or something, but it's okay. That was a fun game of chess, although he was playing it like it was checkers. It was still kind of cute. Checkers is my game. I love checkers. That food smells so good. I better get a seat with Mickey before I start slobbering all over him. Out of hunger, of course. Maybe this game was nasty. You nasty, Riley. Um, all right. So where do we... Do you, like, order here? Like, I don't... Oh, okay. All the way over here. Hi. Look at our little Cinnabon rolls. <laughs> All right, let's go be seated. <laughs> I suppose. So it is a restaurant. Okay. I was confused. I love when Sims can, like, eat out at restaurants in The Sims 2. It's just oh, it's awesome. Is he going to come? Mickey. Mickey Mouse. Mickey, where'd you go? Um, <laughs> That was terrifying. I will never do that again. I promise. Hi, are you our waitress or are you just being awkward? Okay. Um, I guess I will have the lime seared prawns and he will have the hamburgers. <laughs> What's with the hand? Oh. It's like <laughs> I don't even know, guys. <laughs> the Sims glitches. There we go. She got like this gourmet meal and he got like McDonald's. I'd rather have McDonald's to be honest. It's just me. Alright. So we ate. It's officially almost 1 in the, in the morning. Where's this gonna go? Finish your burger already. Put the hand down. I guess we can like flirt. Like, I don't know. New it. New it theme. To end the date, pay the bill. Okay, so we have to pay the bill. Skip out. You can actually skip the bill, but you have to, like, have a car readily available and stuff to, like, get away with it. Dinner was delicious. I don't know if it's the atmosphere or the food, but I'm ready for dessert. Mickey style. <laughs> I feel weird saying this. This is so awkward <laughs> for me to say. Um, a kiss with Mickey will really cap off a wonderful date. I just hope I'm not being too forward. Honey, you were forward the second you met him. You were like, come here. A tickle tickle, Mickey. 
Tickle, tickle. But, you know, whatever. Time for dessert. Let's go give him a first kiss, I suppose. Where are you going? No, you need to come here. Oh, oh. Love. Cut scene. Gabla. The moaning really just sells it, you know? Cutscenes are always so loud in The Sims 2. You guys are probably like, my ears. <laughs> oh, what is this? He got us a flower? I brought you this rose. Its beauty is surpassed only by your own. I had a great time. Wow, a wonderful kiss and a beautiful rose from such a handsome guy. I can't even remember what's his face's name now. I should probably head home. All right. So I guess we'll leave. Uh, All right, chapter three. I had a wonderful date with Mickey. We went to the Starlight Cafe where we enjoyed the beautiful afternoon. We played some chess and had a meal at the restaurant. Afterwards, Mickey treated me to dessert. French style. He <laughs> he. Ew. Honey, nobody wants to hear that. No one. No one. All right, let's go home. Uh, call a taxi. I suppose. She's going to be so tired. She has to work tomorrow. <laughs> Alright, so she's going to head home for the night. And I will see you guys when she wakes up. Alright, so it is the morning. She's going to be getting up, taking a shower, all that stuff. Getting ready for work, I guess. Because she does work today. Carpool will arrive. So do we have that, Rose? We do. We should put it, like, on the table. Ugh, but it's not going to be centered because it's The Sims 2. Ugh, don't you just love that? Don't you just love it? Um, here, we'll get rid of the alarm clock because who needs that, right? Um, we'll put it right there. Yeah. Okay. Wow, a wonderful kiss and a beautiful rose. Alright, so she had a great date with Mickey, which is pretty darn cool. Um, I still don't know what's going to happen with that Dylan Kincaid guy. It's probably going to be part of the story. I'm sure there's going to be like some kind of love triangle. Maybe I even have to decide who she picks. I don't know. I'm not good at making decisions. So I hope it doesn't come to that. <laughs> if I ever were to play like Life is Strange or something on this channel, I would seriously be a mess. Like I would be a wreck because I can't make decisions. I'm horrible at it. All right, so she's back from work and she was promoted to assistant. More work for just a little more pay. Being an assistant means having to juggle many responsibilities at once. The key thing is to please the boss so you can get promoted. Okay, who's our boss? Wish we knew, it's probably like Agora or Dylan or something. I don't even know. But our phone is ringing, so I guess we should go answer it. <laughs> Hi, Riley. I heard from a mutual friend that you were in town. How awesome is that? Say, I'd like to swing by your place around 8 p.m. so we can catch up. How about we make it dinner? Is that cool? Um, what can I say? Hearing his voice brought back a lot of memories. You hussy. No, I'm just kidding. I guess I'm cooking tonight, but I can barely make toast without the fire department knowing about it. I better start reading some cookbooks so hopefully we can skip the emergency room. Oh, All right. <laughs> So she's going to go ahead and, I guess, have, like, a snack or something, have some chips and stuff, and then we'll have her study her cooking skill. Is there a bookcase anywhere? Is there not a bookcase in here? Am I missing something? What even? Um, why don't you hang up the phone? And I guess we'll have to... Oh, no, it's right here. Okay. We'll go ahead and study some cooking. And right now she is a level three, so she just needs one, one more skill point, girl. You can do it. I believe in you. What else does she want to do? Buy a bar, gain a creativity skill, and eat grilled cheese sandwiches. I just can't get this stupid recipe. Paprika? What in the world is that? Well, I told him that if I don't call him to just come by tomorrow at 8 p.m. I told him that if I don't call him... To just come by tomorrow. Okay, there wasn't a comma. There should have been a comma there. Okay. I, I, okay. I read that totally wrong. Hopefully I can figure out what the heck I'm doing before then. Okay, so he's not coming over for dinner? 
Typical Dylan, scheduling dinner when it's convenient for him. Did he even ask if I was up for it? No. I'll give him a piece of my mind when he gets here. He'll probably even be late to jerk. If he doesn't show up today, there's always tomorrow. Okay. So, you don't like Dylan? Is that what I'm getting from this? That's what it seems like. I guess we'll, um, go, like, shower up and clean up and stuff if he is gonna come over. I don't even know. I guess he's coming over tomorrow. I don't know, guys. We're gonna serve dinner, though. We're gonna serve some... <laughs> Some spaghetti. Why not? Ah, paprika. I get it now. I hope Dylan is prepared for a culinary tour de force. What time did he say he'd come by? Oh, yeah. 8 p.m. So is it going to be tomorrow? I'm confused. Nice. Belch. I'm proud of you for that one. Oh, look who it is. Your boo thing. Okay, let's clean it up. I guess he's not coming over tonight. All right, quit talking to him. <laughs> Sorry, girl. Why don't you go play some games or something? Um, and then you can go ahead and go to sleep. Yeah. And she should, she needs a creativity skill to get promoted, so we'll have to work on her creativity skill maybe tomorrow morning. So I'll see you guys then. All right, so another day. Let's go ahead and use the bathroom, and we'll clean the toilet and the shower while we're at it, because they're nasty. Like, really gross. <laughs> And can you actually come out here and paint before you have to leave? That would be fantastic. She probably won't get her creativity skill up. I don't know. No, she probably won't. Nope. Go to work. <laughs> and then I think today is the day Dylan's coming over. Right? Yeah, if he doesn't show up today, there's always tomorrow. So I guess he no-showed? I don't know. The whole thing is a little confusing, to be honest. I don't even know. But it says she has a crush on him. So apparently this is like a love triangle. I don't know. I feel like we haven't seen the last of Agora. I feel like she's going to try to completely screw us over somehow. So I'm a little terrified. And we're back from work. One thing I love about The Sims 2 is that like the fast forward mode was so freaking quick. It was crazy. Um, so let's go ahead and go take a shower. And then come out here and I guess continue practicing your your painting or creativity skill I guess and hopefully you'll get promoted tomorrow we'll see awesome cool all right uh, why don't you put the books away and like just kind of clean up a little bit you know clean up in here we'll clean that clean that what else needs cleaned Make the bed. I never make my bed. And I'm going to tell you why. Okay, I have a good reason. You know, somebody didn't flush the toilet. Who the hell? No, you don't yet the, let the yellow mellow. You don't do that, guys. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> but no, what was I even saying? I was going to tell you guys something. Oh, I don't make my bed because I'm literally just going to get in it. Like, I don't see the point in making my bed. I've never have. Even as an adult now, I don't make my bed. I just, I don't, I just don't, I don't get it. I, I don't know. You're just going to sleep in it the next night, you know? I don't know. Maybe I'm just lazy. Probably lazy. I guess we could, um, work on our cooking skill till he comes and maybe we'll be able to cook more things or we'll answer the phone, I guess. Oh, look, it's Mickey. You're going to call while he's here, aren't you? Is he going to come over? It's 8 p.m. Where are you, homie? Oh, oh, he's here. Dylan Kincaid. While she's on the phone with Mickey. How wonderful. Go ahead and greet him. This is awkward. Oh, oh. Whoa. Okay. Did you tell Mickey that? Oh, my. I'd forgotten how good of a kisser Dylan was. How about I give him a real romantic kiss? After all, it's been, what, four years since we dated? That's nothing. Oh, my god you are a little bit of a hussy honey <laughs> i'm sorry love you girl 
but I'm just saying, I keep it real, you know? Wow, that was nice. Something is bothering me, though. Maybe because you're making out with two different guys, like, every day. But anyway, I mean, I'm not technically dating Mickey, but we are seeing each other. However, it's almost like I'm being compelled to continue on this date with Dylan. Maybe I shouldn't question it. Maybe you should. Being with Dylan really takes me back to my days at good old Bradshaw High. What a pair we were, captain of the football team and head cheerleader. I still remember Dylan running back and forth, jumping up and down, waving his pom-poms around. <laughs> Those were the days. <laughs> yes, she was like captain of the football. Yes. Enough reminiscing. I better get started on dinner before Dylan starts rummaging through my trash. Well, that would be a little awkward. Just a little bit awkward. Let's go ahead and serve him some hamburgers. <laughs> Cause we're just that damn fancy, okay? All right, and I guess we'll call him to the meal. Did you turn my TV on? Dude, TV does not need to be on. I wonder what they're talking about. I don't know. Some guy. I don't even know. Oh my God, and then we'll clean up. Oh my goodness, dinner was excellent if I do say so myself. I don't think I can get up, I'm so full. Dylan may need to carry me. Okay, so it's just a lame excuse to leap into his arms. Either way, I'm going for it. Mm -hmm. Honey! He voted. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Go leap into his arms. Go do it. This is entertaining, to say the least, for me. Oh my god. Seriously, he's actually really cute. I think he's better looking than Mickey. Riley, I bought this the other day and was thinking of you. I'd like you to have it as a housewarming gift. What is it? A guilt-free mirror? Oh, thanks. We can get rid of this crappy one then. We'll put this in, like, grandma's room. Not grandma's room. <laughs> grandma's room. Our aunt's room, our aunt who's never, who's literally never here. Cool, thank you. She's like, yeehaw, thanks. Dinner with Dylan got a little spicier than I had expected, and I don't mean the food. <laughs> Perhaps I should take things slower until I figure out what's going on between me and Mickey. That's nice of him, but I think it's a little too soon for me to start having any serious feelings for Dylan again. I still need to find out what's going to happen with Mickey. Well then, making out with him probably wasn't the best idea. Let's go. <laughs> oh, and you just did it again. Uh, all right, go put away all the books and go to bed. She has off tomorrow, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this part here. Like, how weird? How weird was this part? Right? Like, so many dates, so many guys, so little time. <laughs> You know, she just can't make up her mind. Oh, here we go. Chapter four. Today was a little strange. What with my ex-boyfriend, Dylan Kincaid, dropping in for a visit? He's a really nice guy, but I wonder how much he's changed since high school. I really need to cool it with him because I don't want to damage anything with Mickey. On the plus side, I learned what paprika is. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to end this part here. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. And I will see you all in part four. So thank you guys so much for watching and have a good night and thanks for watching again and bye. <laughs>